Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform here or elsewhere. Reach out to me directly for pricing, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Launched in 2012, to great surprise, this is the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Sky Dweller in white gold, reference 326939. At the time it launched, one of the most complicated Rolex watches of all time, and it retains that crown to this day. This is the dial as it would have appeared between 2012 and 2016. Now, the watch is 42 millimeters in diameter, and in terms of lines and proportions, it's like a really big day just. It measures 13.9 millimeters thick, 50.1 millimeters from lug to lug, and then if you include the solid end links of the bracelet, it is 51.5 millimeters across the wrist. That's the absolute distance. It has a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, an oval in profile, and you can see it wears well. A massive thing on a white gold bracelet, solid case back, solid end links, solid center links, milled clasp. A gold full bracelet Rolex feels like a platinum watch from any other brand. And as you can see, I'm wearing it well. It'll wear on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference, and it's not as big as it looks in photos. The further away my arm gets from the camera, the better it looks proportionally. It is low enough to fit underneath a dress cuff with that sloped bezel, so what might seem like a chunky watch, it is a good dress watch. Taking a look at the bracelet, it's the Oyster bracelet. Polished center links, polished outer faces, satin shoulders, a little bit of a taper, removable links on both sides fixed by screws. We have a locking system, as you can see, with a beak and a hook. So when it shuts, it, it actually latches shut. You can't just pull it open. You do need to unlatch it. So there's an element of security there for this large, heavy, and expensive watch. Nicely made, straight through polish on the clasp, polish outer face, easy link. It is a five millimeter tool-free in or out snap adjustment. It's the equivalent of adding one sizable link or removing one full size sizable link. And then if you wanna make more adjustments, finer adjustments, you can see there are three divots drilled inside the clasp. You could use your strap tool to move this spring bar in or out of her fine tuning the fit. So you have three ways of adjusting the fit of this watch. Rolex makes its own bracelets, cases, clasps, dials, and movements. So. Beyond that, Rolex also has its own foundry, so it makes its own gold. And it makes a white gold variant known in the industry as gray gold. It's rather expensive. It never needs to be rhodium plated. So unlike conventional white gold, which will scratch and show a different darker color beneath, this is the same color all the way through, even if it scratches, and it will never need to be rhodium replated. Screw down crown twin lock design, 100 meters water resistant. You know it's a twin lock in gold because it has two dots. Rolex crowns always give you a little signature that lets you know the material and the type of the crown, and this is a twin lock in gold. The bezel, twinkling like cut gems. You can see this watch has been sparsely, if ever, refinished, and the bezel is really a testament to that, just how sharp it remains. The movement inside caliber 9001 is visible externally, as the ring command bezel is actually part of the movement. I'm going to demonstrate how all this works. Screw out the crown, again, 100 meters water resistant. We also have a solid case back to back that up. You can wind it in the first position, but if I pull it all the way out, nothing happens. Now I turn the bezel, one click counterclockwise. Now I can activate the calendar system. It's an annual calendar. It needs to be adjusted only once a year during the jump from February to March. It requires one annual correction. Now check this out. I can adjust the date in either direction. Very few calendar systems can do this. You have 12 hours with 12 apertures corresponding to 12 months. So watch as I turn through the change of the month. See this little red filler? It jumps from window to window representing the current month. So now that's September first and that is the 31st of August. It works just like that. It is a very smart system and almost unbreakable. Rolex is justifiably proud of it. Turn the bezel one more click counterclockwise. Now I can drive the local hour hand and I can drive the date forward but I cannot note drive it backwards. The watch is still ticking. I'm not affecting the 24-hour second time zone, the seconds hand, or the minutes hand. Okay, turn the bezel all the way counterclockwise. Now I activate hacking seconds. Everything is stopped and coordinated. Now I can set that inner time zone. You set the current hour using the little index at 12 o'clock, the red index. And what you do is you first set the reference hour. So let's say it's 6 o'clock in the evening, and then it is 10 past 6. And then what you do is you turn the bezel one clock, one click clockwise, I should say, and now you set the local time, and that's how that works. 
The watch has a 70-hour automatic winding power reserve. It is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. It has the double quick set system forward and backwards. It has hacking seconds. It pivots on 40 joules. It has a full balance bridge with a free sprung index for both precise adjustment of the timing and shock resistance. It uses a handmade overcoil hairspring, so it will keep excellent time in any physical orientation with respect to gravity. That hairspring is made of parachrome blue, a blue oxidized niobium zirconium alloy that is highly anti magnetic and it beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. Reach out to me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.